Lincoln Falcon. Hey guys, I'm Phil. And I'm Doug. When we're back at the Tenda Village, we got the book of things. Yes, so we did some repair work with Jeff. Oh yes, yes. And uh, so the broken harmonica became the baddest beam. The badass beam, yes. Yes, that gives us plus eight to attack, which is pretty good. Yeah. The broken trumpet became the defensive shower, which ups everybody's defense. Yeah. And the, is it a reusable thing? It is a reusable thing, nice, yeah. Nice, nice. And the uh, broken bazooka became the heavy bazooka, which is basically a reusable super bomb from what I remember. That's kind of cool. It's like, instead of giving him like magic, well not magic, but you know what I mean, psi abilities, he gets a, mm -hmm. uh, like you have to go out of your way to find his skills. Yeah, for like sure. Like that. Where else should I? Do you have to give it to him, or do you have to give it to the other guy? I think we have to give it to the other yeah. guy. Well, let's try this guy out, I guess. I don't need this. Oh, there oh, we go. No. Look, Ken fix shyness. Thanks. Relax, I'll read to everyone. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's very effective. Books, kids. They'll make you things. The more you know. Oh, <laughs> well, well, I was talking to Whisper. Ooh, tender crowd. Um. Gross. Alright, so, uh. Oh. Another picture. Yay! Ooh. It'd be nice if you got one if you get the Sword of Kings. Yeah. <laughs> no matter where you are. In battle. It would. Like. Yeah, we would agree on it. Excuse me. More aliens. <laughs> I'm getting worried, Doug. <laughs> oh, there's a question. Oh, my oh God. what? Oh, how does that it actually, know? That actually worried me for a second. <laughs> <laughs> yes. No, it's fine. Doug, have you changed your name lately? Nope. All right, Zarblax. <laughs> yes. Freaking hell. Well, I'm not happy with the names. <laughs> but... <laughs> Alright, so, uh, one other word on the rock candy. Mm -hmm. So, uh, there is a glitch in the game where if you have, um, the rock candy as the last item in your inventory, uh, and you have a condiment, uh, that you can use with it, then if you use it in battle, only the condiment will be consumed and not the rock candy, meaning you can infinitely increase your stats. Uh, and the jar of deli sauce or a packet of sugar both double the increases, so they're the most effective ones to use. We, however, are not going to exploit that. We're just going to use it regularly. Yeah. We like the idea of it being there, that, that that glitch. I'm assuming what the glitch does, it's not specifically to the rock candy. Ah, nice, IQ. Um, but I'm assuming that like using any item in battle with a condiment in the last section or last slot mm. probably does the same thing probably so yeah. I'm, I'm assuming you can just do that with any healing item oh oh we're doing oh, this thing oh, oh yay serious voice time if it if it if it, he's got the dance going does got the dance going like a great tapestry vertical and horizontal threads have met and become intertwined creating a huge beautiful image and dancing doug <laughs> <laughs> He's just like stretching his neck out. You guys will have to picture it. Yeah. <laughs> Especially if you don't know what Doug looks like. You may have cursed this never ending journey. You have known injury and defeat many times. Remember how many times you've died, Doug? But you have struggled on to reach this place. <laughs> <true>. Your inborn <laughs> intelligence and courage have helped bring you here. You have believed in your friends, and as a group, you have supported each other. I remember that one time where Pooh just left us for a garbage bag man. That's true. <laughs> have you ever stopped to consider how much of your power has grown? Yes, I have. Now you should. Now you could fell enemies and own it and twos them with one blow. I can do that with like recent enemies, but whatever. Mm -hmm. As you certainly know, you cannot turn back. Gigas, the arch fiend of the universe, is growing frightened of you and your power. He is searching for ways to end your journey. The end. Yeah, it is very peaceful. From here, the challenge grows and your adventure will take you beyond anything you ever imagined. You are drawing near to Gigas. Remember, when you are suffering hardships, your enemy is also struggling. Not always, but it's true. 
I don't know. <laughs> I like the background in this one. By the way, do you know where Pokey went? Um, he died. We saw his helicopter. With When this cup of tea is finished, your adventure will continue. Your destiny pulls you in the right direction. Believe in yourself and pref, press forward. Press 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 forward. Press forward. Doug, press the forward button. No. Well, it's telling us to. Ness! <laughs> Paula! Abdul! I mean, Jeff! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> you know, the, okay, you don't remember that episode where I went, Prince <laughs> That's a meme at my work now. I see. It's great. I wish you luck. Yeah, Josh at work brings it up every so She's just like, Prince <laughs> And I'm like, oh no. I'm famous now. Uh, yes. So is poop. That was, yeah. that was good tea. Mm -hmm. Do you drink tea? Yes, I do. Oh. I haven't. I don't. I didn't until uh, recently. I don't. Uh, I don't much care for warm drinks. And yes, I know you can drink tea cold. Uh, but for Christmas, uh, one of the things I got for Kate was one of those. Um, uh, it's like an advent calendar, but with tea in it. Oh, that's cool. And I told her like like here it is. This is fun. We'll start this December first. And the the uh, the the catch, I guess, was that I will drink a cup of each one with you, uh, and it was really really fun. I really enjoyed it, That's and I, I had a lot of teas that I really really enjoyed. So that was that was cool. I really enjoyed it, and I, and I suggest if if people out there you got like a friend who or like a girlfriend or, or husband boyfriend I don't know if someone close to you drinks tea, get them this and and share tea with them. It's a fun experience, uh, and it's yeah. not just the tea. It's the whole, like, this isn't something I normally do, but now we can share it together because I know you like it sort of thing. Right. Thanks for calling out all of us lonely people there, Phil. <laughs> if you don't have anyone important to you, drink tea. It just makes you feel better. <laughs> Why are you putting me on the spot, Doug? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you putting me on the spot? <laughs> that's, that's true. That's true. Well, it's uh, like, I don't know. I, I like that. What, do you, what are we doing? Uh, so we need a horn of life to trade for any of this. Oh. Uh, so I think we'll want the Hall of Fame bat. Uh, Probably. I'll, do we have a, a, a horn? There's no. one in the next area. Yeah, we do um, not have a horn. I'll check. What was it called? The home run bat? Hall of Fame bat. Yeah. What do we have now? Uh, T-Rex bat? Or big league bat? We have a big league bat. Okay, big league bat is 54. The Hall of Fame bat is 62. Okay. All right, that's not bad. Whee! No, but speaking of like the thing like that with the sharing and stuff, uh, a couple years ago we did the uh, Secret Santa thing, mm -hmm. and I had Ryan Faulkner, who's who's is a very like he knows beer. You can talk to that thing, I think. Yep. Good evening. I'm a talking rock, but the rocks around here don't talk very much. The rock that talks the most is deep down in the labyrinth of ways ahead, in the lost underworld. Don't forget to talk to the rock. It's important. Hmm. I'm Seinfeld. Mm. <laughs> and uh. uh he knows a lot about beer and stuff, so I was like, I don't know what to get him to see a Santa. So I went in and I bought the, I bought like a little six pack of the weirdest beers I've ever had, and then I bought the same thing for me, mm. so that we could share it, and he could tell me about the beer that I bought and whether it was good or not. And it was just a lot that, of fun. That sounded like something he'd enjoy too. Oh, he he loved it. It was, it was a lot of fun, and that was like where right, I, I I I just like kind of met Ryan, so it was fun to get to know him that way. Mm. Oh, cat weird. Uh, so we're almost to one of the one of the weirder but like very cooler visual places in the game. Oh no, we're not yet. Never mind. We won't be there until like at least next episode. Episode. So never mind. Uh, disregard uh, everything I just said. So should I be going uh, north or south? Oh, here? where are we? Is it here? Uh, well, we just entered. Uh, uh, oh, here. Yes. Yeah, so do I go up this way or down there? I don't know your hands though. <laughs> um, a B. Oh yeah, you can go down to the. You can go down there. Okay. I need you to navigate. <laughs> sure. I didn't realize we were uh, like in a little dungeon. <laughs> oh, it's a smiley face. Yahoo! <laughs> okay. Oh, that's terrifying. I don't like it. I got a message from my wifey. She's... What the hell? You're weird. Oh, it's for my friggin... Soldier 76 cosplay. It's like, why are you giving me, like, a weird hair dye link? <laughs> <laughs> I see, I see. That was odd. So anyways. 
Either that or she was telling me that, like, I don't like the way your bald hair looks. I'm like, oh. She'd be able to tell us if she watched these videos. She doesn't watch these videos. <laughs> She's one of those people who says, I'm going to wait till the whole thing's done and then watch all of it. I'm like, you liar. You're not watching 60 episodes of this. It's true. I don't watch 60 episodes of this. I just put them online and wait until the YouTube comments say, hey, this is weird and wrong. <laughs> then I fix it. No, I'm sorry. I don't do that. Um... So, did you go back? Are we back here? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Because we could have just kept going because the bee thing would have brought you right there, anyways. Oh? Yeah. So, we're the same area, anyways. Um, so, we're going to want to. Okay. Okay. So, go to the left. Yeah. No, no, go up. Right. Go to the left. Yeah, this is weird. They made us like. So, you're going you're gonna to skip that one and just keep going. Okay. Oh, it's a hole. That's why. Not a ladder. That's why we. That's why you didn't see so it down there. I should go no, up here. No, you're gonna keep going there. You we'll see it. Uh, present. Okay. Yeah, but that that continues on with the end of it. C goes to a dead end. Then we go back. Okay. Yeah. So you keep going left. Yep. Yeah. And avoid that area. That'll just bring us back down to exactly where we were. Cool. Yes. Yeah, so. Uh, yeah. Tea. I enjoy. Mm -hmm. um, I don't drink coffee, and I also mm. don't particularly like hot drinks, especially in the summer. Okay. Like, I, I usually drink tea in, in, in the winter. I just, I don't particularly get along well with heat, so okay. I don't want more of it when I'm hot. <laughs> yeah, no, that makes sense. Uh, is there, like, a special tea you like? Not really. Okay. Uh, uh, I have a fairly wide assortment here, but, like, I'm not all about tea. Okay. It's just, I do like it. I like to... Um... I got, a, I got a buddy who works in the same mall that I do. He works at David's Tea. And uh, I was having a, just a shitty sick day. He's just like, oh, here's a coupon for a free tea. And uh, he said, get the cold 911. And it was friggin' awesome. Like, And it was genuinely good regardless of, of me being sick. Yeah. It's very nice. Well, hot liquids in general will clear up your um, mm -hmm. congestion. No, but I mean, like, I, I can totally drink this without being sick and still thoroughly enjoy it. Right, right. Um, his name's Tyler. He, he really knows his tea. Like, I'm, I'm actually quite impressed with how much he knows because, like, I don't like tea. And then he's like, oh, you'll like these ones and these ones based on what I've seen you drink. Hmm. And he's been right. And it's quite impressive. Um, so, yeah, you're going to roll it there. I won't go out of my way to drink tea, but, I mean, if Kate's having some, I'm, I'm much more uh, open to it now, I guess. Right. Mm, there's a couple of good ones on that advent calendar. I can't remember any of them, except for Santa's Secret was really yeah. good. Well, I definitely understand how it's, uh, you know, it's not quite as luring to just make tea for yourself. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Thanks for running that in. Wow. Doug! This is going to show up to your door with tea. Yep. And then you're like, oh, thank you, and then just splash your face in it. Oh, that I don't Oh, yay! Woo. Three down, one to go. I forgot that we're Lumen Lumine Hall. Alright. That's this. Yes. Uh, wow. Wow. Yeah. Nice. And the next one is in the um, the next area, the Lost Underworld. Sweet. Which sounds like a terrible movie with Kate Beckinsale. <laughs> Wait, is it Kate Beckinsale? Yep. That'll teach her. <laughs> and then who will be all powerful? Wow. Oh, Ness is homesick. What we just we just went home. We just slept at our mom's house like for two weeks straight. <laughs> oh my! Oh my god! It's true to, to to get all those things repaired. <laughs> Shit! What should we do? Um, I can go back, I guess. Do you really want to take the time to do that? Well, I think I have to anyway. Final Omega. All right. Well, let's get back to that crossroad that we were at, and then yeah. we'll, and then we'll continue from there. All right. Uh, no, no. no. Oh yeah, you got you got the diadem. Yeah. Okay. Because uh, yeah, I have to backtrack at this point anyway. Friggin' Ness. I miss me, man. Yeah. Paul's like, I learned Fire Omega. And he's like, Might as well use it. I want to see it. Fire Omega? Yeah, sure. we're going to go sit, uh, heal anyways because we're going home. Yeah, sure. Or whatever. 42 PP. <laughs> oh my god. All the PPs. Oh, it's so many. So many PPs. There you got it. I got side thunder on yeah. Nice, let's check it out. Yeah, that was awesome. Oh my god, did you see that? Oh, yeah. That actually looks really cool. Just never hits. Oh, 
Oh, no, no, no. Uh, uh, no, I'm ready. Does it go back? I love that kind of the very beginning. It almost looks like a very well done 3D rotation thing. I mean, yeah, I know it's not, but like, they do a really good job of. I don't know, I can picture this in my mind and see how cool it would look like in full 3D. For sure. Does Mother 3 have good looking spells like that? Mm, yeah. I mean, a lot of it's the same spells, to be honest with you. Oh, okay. Boo, I guess. Uh, you also only have two party members that can use psychic abilities in Mother 3. Really? Yeah. Lucas is, I'm assuming, one of them. Lucas and. Uh, 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 now? Girl. The girl. The girl. Then you have a thiefy type character and a dog. Yay. Alright, so here's the crossroads. So we're going to go head back to Tenda and call mom, and we'll see in a little bit. Alright, so we're not a baby anymore. Yep. Our mom talked us out of our hissy fit. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go down and there'll be a treasure war. Oh, too late. You died. Some fobbies. Maybe some oh, luck, yeah, these luck caps you will. Incredibly dangerous enemies. Yeah, be careful then. I think they have brain shock, which is an instant kill. Really? Yeah. Do they have enough RPB to do it? Uh, I th think they do, but they can only do it once or something. Okay. Well, could let's, be uh, let's have them not do that, please. Well, they don't do it very frequently. Well, then there you go. They're usually super easy. Usually. Thank you, loud truck. Woo! Sweet. A capsule of luck. So that's... We discovered that's general accuracy, right? What? Yes, yeah. Yeah. You know, that's what they do in pharmaceuticals. They take luck, they crystallize it, and then chop it down to a fine powder and put it in a capsule. Fantastic. So it's, yeah. it's cheaper in Canada, though. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Luck is uh, luck is easy to find in Canada. Yeah. Well, it's uh, you know, it's the big pharmaceutical companies in the states that just they jack up the price. Yeah. yeah. What, is, what is your cat doing? Just don't worry about it. <laughs> He's fine. Thanks nice for talking to me. <laughs> All right, That's... see you later, buddy. Nice. He's not that talkative. Just as mm -hmm. that other rock foretold. <laughs> Uncontrollable sphere. Alright, so I have a, a bit of a story to tell. Uh -oh. So, this is a Dungeons and Dragons story, so uh -oh. we're all super nerd here. Uh, so, in Dungeons and Dragons, there has long been a thing known as a uh, sphere of annihilation. Okay. Uh, which is like this little, basically, black hole that anything it touches is destroyed. Okay. And, um,. You could wear this little sort of crown, and you can gives you the ability to like telekinetically move it around, but you know only that thing. So you could use it as a weapon, though it moves fairly slowly. Uh, and in the epic level stuff for D and D, there was uh, a sentient version of this that had you know gained intelligence and can move around on its own. Okay. <laughs> and uh, You're paralyzed by the way. Uh, oh, any of rock candy, so. Uh, how much do we need on this? Alright, so, uh, it would still have the little crown that you could use, but, uh, it could, it still knew what you were trying to do to control it. However, yeah. it was not obligated to, to do that any longer. But they would pretend to be a regular sphere of what? annihilation until you let your guard down, and then they, they'll murder you. <laughs> What the hell? <laughs> well, why would they want to murder you? Uh, I mean, because all they know is to destroy. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> it's the only way they can interact with the world. <laughs> Jeez. And they just pretend to go along. That is. Yeah, that's I, I guess they just think it's funny. <laughs> wow. Left or right? Uh, uh, right. Okay. Woo, Jake's water. That uh, P P He likes uh, water. Water's good. And we'll climb that ladder and call it today. All right, great right there. Fantastic. Yeah. Fantastic. 
We're almost to the next uh, shaman spot. Awesome. Very. We'll get next tomb. Yay, that's my favorite part. And then we're basically immediately into the next one. Like, they waste no time, it's straight into the next one. Yep. We're, we're in the, the final stretch. Yeah, we're getting there. We're getting there, guys. We've only got a couple, like, basic dungeons, and then it's uh, a lot of story for a little bit. Yeah. And then, well, for this game, anyways. Yeah, and a lot of teleporting around. Yeah. Things to do, places to see, people to kill. Is that him? Bazooka does a fair bit of damage. Oh, did you use it? I wasn't paying attention. It did 380. Nice. Uh, I suspect it won't like continue to scale up. No, it'll, it'll it'll stop being useful at some point. But um, for I'm now, assuming uh, you being crying doesn't affect it either. No, that's why I used it. Oh, awesome, cool. All right, well, we'll kill these fobbies, and I'm Phil. I'm Doug, and we'll continue through the Lumine Hall next time on Earthbound. So yeah, thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe, check out my other content on my YouTube channel, where you can find let's plays, speedruns, and reviews of other games.